you. Thank you. It's a great honor to be with you tonight. Some of you, or some would describe you as being ordinary Americans. In reality, you're extraordinary Americans because you have the courage to take on the Washington establishment. You have the courage to say to Washington, stop this out-of-control spending. You have the courage to say to Washington, stop messing in my life. You don't need to pick my doctor. I can do that all by myself. And you have the courage to go to Washington and confront the establishment and say, you can't take me for granted anymore. You need to listen. Now, you're going to hear a lot more about the economic disaster that this administration is bringing towards the and bringing on the American people, but I want you to think about something else. It was about 18 months ago that someone in Illinois, Denise Catoni, said to the Obama administration, "No." And for 18 months, she's led a group of Tea Party activists here in Illinois. We did the same thing in Michigan because what did she do and what did the people of Michigan do? When President Obama, in the early hours of his administration, said, we are going to take dangerous terrorists from Guantanamo and we are going to move them to mainland United States, the American people said, that's a dumb idea. <laughs> he then said, we're going to take them to Michigan. The people of Michigan, extraordinary people, said, no, you're not and they're not in Michigan. He then said, we're going to take him to Illinois. Denise and the people of Illinois and others around America said, no, you're not. And 18 months later, because grassroots America spoke, those terrorists are still in Guantanamo, and they will be there, and they will be there throughout this administration. This administration had another bad idea. They said, we're going to take Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the architect of the 9-11 attack, and we're going to try them in New York City, just blocks away from the World Trade Center. This is a guy that had already pleaded guilty in a military tribunal. The people of New York City said, that's a dumb idea. The people of New York State said, that's a bad idea. And the people across America said, that's a bad idea. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed will be tried in Cuba. He will not be tried in the United States. And it's because you, the American people, said no and had the courage to say no to this administration. In November, at Fort Hood, Someone jumped on a table, shouted out, Allah Akbar, and started executing Americans. On Christmas Day, someone tried to take down an airliner over Detroit. And a few months later, there was an attack, or an attempted attack, in Times Square. This administration said, those are isolated events. The American people said, no, this is radical jihadists at work. We need to confront them, we need to contain them, and we need to defeat them, and we need to identify them for what they are. In each of those cases, the American people, the Tea Party folks, and grassroots America defeated Washington and defeated this administration. You did it then, and you can do it again in November. When the Secretary of Homeland Security said, there is no such thing as terrorism, there, it's man-made disasters. You said, no, it's terrorism, and now she's talking about terrorism. The great thing about the Tea Party movement in grassroots America is you are demonstrating to the rest of America that you can and you will defeat Washington. You've done it on national security. You will do it on November, and you will take America back. You will take America back. You will take America back because you're standing on principle. 
You're saying the role of the federal government is not to pick our doctors, it's to defeat radical jihadists. The role of the federal government is not to educate our kids, it is to rush to the border and seal our borders. On November, on November, you will not enshrine a new class of politicians in Washington. You will hold them accountable because if they do not enshrine the Constitution in 2012, you will send them packing. Because this is all about the Constitution. It is not about politicians. It is not about people. The Tea Party is not about people. It is about principle. It is about the Constitution. And that is why you will be successful. Thank you very much for everything you've done. God bless.